ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. I loved fighting. <laughs> Even when I was a kid, you know, getting in there with the boys was never an issue with me. I just knew I loved fighting, not necessarily boxing. Um, I actually picked boxing because my, my coach, he gave me a choice because I was doing jujitsu at the time too. And he was like, you know, Miha, you really need to focus on one. Which one do you want? And I guess that's when I chose boxing when I was about 22. Okay. And what, uh, what kind of inspired you to want to go pro? Because I mean, it's, um, it's like a profession of passion. Um, you know, in the amateurs, I can only really rely on getting one fight a year, which was always with beautiful brawlers. I'm sorry, my dogs are making quite a bit of noise. Do you mind it's, if I put them outside? Or? Yeah, go for it. I'm super oh. chill. So you, you just do whatever <laughs> you want to do. They're running around. You know what? They quieted down. I think they found something to play with. <laughs> um, like I said, when I was an amateur, I can only really rely on getting one fight a year, which was at Beautiful Brawlers. Um, they always host an all-female tournament, usually every September or August, somewhere around that time frame. So other than that, at their show, I was fighting girls way over my weight. You know, I was 101 pounds fighting girls around 115, 120 pounds at times. So I just said, you know, it's a pandemic. There's no amateur shows. Might as well do it. Okay. I mean, that that's a can-do attitude. And I've definitely been going to the beautiful brawler shows for quite a bit. I don't want to count how many years because then that ages me. <laughs> but um, I guess another thing I got to ask is your weight class is like, even in the pros, I'd imagine you have to fight a lot of the same opponents because there's just not that many people probably until the top level am i right or wrong in that assumption you know what in mexico there's a lot of girls at my weight <laughs> there's quite okay. a few I've, I've seen a good handful um you know i watch out for them i have my eyes on them you know so i know there's a few overseas as well i just think here in the united states it's not as frequent for girls to to fight at my weight one because i'm fairly short <laughs> So um, there is quite a bit, but they're, they're mainly people that I have to travel to. Okay, because I know, like, sadly, women's boxing doesn't get the shine it should get, but in Asia and Mexico, it gets a lot more appreciation. But I also didn't know um, how extensive the divisions are, just because, like, I'm going to be honest, like, I just don't know too much about this division uh, beyond that you're fighting in it. And I could probably name one or two at the top people, but I just don't know. I don't have a depth of the division fully, to be honest. To tell you the truth, it's, it is fairly small. For example, I know Louisa Houghton, she's the champion, one of the champions right now. She has no amateur record and I think less than 10 pro fights. And she's the champion in my weight class. So with that being said, although there is a good, variety of girls in my weight class it, it seems to be like there's no one that has maybe so much of, of an extensive record like close to shields there's no one with that pedigree quite yet in this weight class yeah no Lu Louisa Houghton friend of the program came on the show so you we've had two fighters in this division that have come on go okay. us <laughs> we've extensively I feel like we're, we can say we've extensively covered this division but um what what women's boxers inspire you or what, are there any in particular that stand out that you've always taken a liking to and see, seen inspiration from? You know, to be 100% honest, I think one of my biggest inspirations is my sparring partner, Destiny Nino. Um, she's an amateur fighter still, but that girl, oh, she's so good. She, she pushes me every single time we spar. Um, professional ranks, I would say definitely, you know, Sinesa, I think she's great. I love her, her little attitude and I love the way that she moves. Um, a lot of it would be probably just people that I know in the amateurs that I've seen them go through the same type of struggles that I've gone through to find professional fights. You know, my buddy Zarina McCoy, she's out there fighting in Mexico, like 
almost every month. So I think that those those ladies who push it, who even though there's been the pandemic and there's been these different obstacles in women's boxing, you know, they find a way to make it happen. So I think those those three girls, they they're my top ones. <laughs>